I am back. Woo! Long time no see. All right. So I've been playing for a while. And as y'all see, I've gotten a couple of new pet I'm on. And I named the giant turtle, or turtleoid, Slash from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If y'all don't know who Slash is, uh, basically an evil Ninja Turtle. Uh, unless you count, you know, the... 3D rendition where he eventually became good and got a team of his own super mutant ninjas from a crocodile to Slash himself. Uh, I forget who else. Uh, we got Catman here. We got Phantom Bro. We got Soshi and we got Lightning Cock. Yes, his name is Lightning Cock. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're gonna try to level up some. So we can finally, um, get one ingredient unlocked. Oh, never mind. We can get it now. Ha! Polymer. We can sweet. All right, now we can get the shotgun. We can single shot shotgun. So let's make some polymer. And I guess we're going to go with 20 polymer. Ooh, that's going to take a while. Well, better bring out Chapman. Chapman, let's do this. Da, 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 da. It's Catman! Don't worry there, valued citizen. I, Catman, will save you. <laughs> oh, what of my worst enemy! <laughs> ah! Honestly, Adam West, I'm gonna miss him. Good Batman, good Catman, good all-around, like, hero guy. Why, thank you, valued citizen. I cannot be more happy that you've, uh, given me such a praise. Now, if you excuse me, evil waits for no one. Thank you, Catman. <laughs> or Batman. To the Cadillac! <laughs> the Cadillac. I should have went with Cadillac. Oh man, I missed that one. Oh. Oh, I, I, oh no. Yeah, I missed out a chance on that pun. <laughs> so, uh. Today's been one heck of a day. Weekend was pretty solid, too. Not gonna lie, so. Uh, Friday, I finally went back to playing D&D. &D. And my D&D &D session went pretty good. I ended up taking command of the team and ended up taking down a lot of targets with our uh, rogue. Our barbarian rogue part class member. So, uh, yeah, we ended up doing some stuff. And it was a lot of fun. I mean, those who say D&D &D ain't fun really haven't played D&D. &D. So, uh, yeah, I ended up using Commander Strike about, like, two times. End up taking down the Catapult. That also launched out giant dragon flames. It was, like, very e unique what we did as the enemies, uh, when they died... They had a chance either reincarnating as demons or just exploding. Um, a rogue slash barbarian throwing his daggers like crazy ended up overall doing a lot of damage. 
thanks for uh, my commander strike, ended up doing a lot of good for the team. So we ended up taking out the targets around the cannon. And since the rogue slash uh, barbarian class was a sliminoid, that which is basically some kind of slime creature, you would need to know D&D lore about it. Um, just think of, a, think of it as a slime creature and it can possess things, even mechanical things. So it ended up taking over the cannon. So it started running the, the started controlling the cannon, and the cannon started moving on its own, running over the enemy units in the back line. So she ended up destroying each and every one of the enemies on the back line. That <laughs> well, she just ran them over, and it was so cool. I'm so proud of her too. Like, holy crud, she really came out of her clan little shell and started the fight. And yeah. Wizard stayed in the back line saying, eh, I'm just chilling here casting Meteor. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. Like, Joey, the guy I did jo that does Joey on the channel, he ended up actually fighting. And it shocked everyone in the class because in the D&D group, because, like, we thought, oh, he was with, like, the evil dragon Aragon. But no, um, wind out of being like, oh, wait a minute. He's switching sides for a moment. And we only think he's switching sides for a brief moment, so it's a lot of fun. And we ended up taking down the enemy units. We all ended up scrounging around for, like, the wizard looked for magical books and scrolls. Um, the one working with the big bad temporarily that's technically working for himself, Joey, ended up, uh, how you say, looking for fortune as he was looking for gold and jewels and all that. For me, I ended up picking up armor and equipment and weapons and these broken fire gems that in next section we're going to forge into like all our armor and equipment to uh, give us fire resistance. And like everybody's really excited about that as I did that for like the group. They go, oh man, that's really cool. Holy heck, we didn't think of that. And I, I, yep. That's so why you never leave Devin out of the party. All right, we got a single shot rifle. So we got the musket. Need to switch out oh, the musket. Okay, there we go. Single shot rifle, musket, and handgun. So we got bullets for days, bullets for days, bullets for days. So what happens now? I don't know. Let's go shoot something. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I sounded way too excited for that. <laughs> Just screams the nerd at me, you know, like, gonna go shoot something? Gonna go shoot something. Yeah. <laughs> You can tell I was way too excited just to shoot something. Who's contacting me now? Ah, oh, well, my artist friends ended up contacting me. Nice. Always good to have artist friends. Uh, right now, live streaming, playing Power World. Overall, girl, you take care of yourself. Wish you would have contacted me a bit earlier before I started streaming, but that's okay. 
I should have your uh money around for that first pe for that piece of art somewhere within a couple of days. Take care for now. No, it's always good to have connections. Especially since, like, obviously, very soon, I'm going to start having my own ETC shop. With some of that uh, money I just mentioned that I told her that I'm going to pay her for her piece of art. I'm actually looking forward to that. Finally having my own ETC shop. Melee weapons in there. Put shooty shooties in there. And their ammunition. And throwies. So I've gotten a couple more things since we've uh, last live streamed together, everyone. As you can see, e, the base has had a bit of a change. As all the... Like, ingredients is switched up, like all the cases for the ingredients and a lot more space down here. So, that's fun. And you can see I got a bit of a restaurant thing going on down here. Check this out. This is awesome. I really love it. Really cool. We got the bedroom right over here. Nice. Nice. I like it. Nice. Really nice. We've got my <clears throat> personal library. Oh, I'm being a little bit snobby, aren't I? <laughs> oh, that's what you get, wait, and you motherfucking dick ride! <laughs> so, library's finally back up. We've got the back. Mmm, rubber ducky. Yep, so we got the bathroom up still. We got carpet almost everywhere. We got a spare piano right over here. Little, like, bookcase right here. Honestly. A little, like, eatery area. I love it. I love it. I love it. As y'all saw over here, we got the small little factory units. Gotta get lightning cock out and power up the generator a bit. We still got this over here. And look at that. Oh, big jump. And like hot spring right on top of the rocks. I actually like that. That's pretty cool. Let's see what's in the egg. Oh. Oh, yes. Big giant lightning bird. Greatly, I like riding lightning cock. Why did I call him lightning cock? Why not? I mean, if you had a horse, wouldn't you call him lightning cock too? Probably not. Probably that's just me. Probably most of y'all like out there watching in chat like, what the heck is wrong with this guy? 
is going through y'all's heads right now. Like, what the heck is wrong with him? Why does he call his horse lightning cock? Why do we watch him? My answer is, I don't know why you watch me. You just do. <laughs> you just do. And you can't look away. Even though you want to, it's like a beautiful train wreck that you just can't look away from. <laughs> Basically every VTuber ever. Yeah, almost got that done, Lightning Cog. I love it when I called him Lightning Cog when he's doing that. So hold on. Like, here on the sign, I want to put something finally... No solicitors or trespass. Hold on. No solicitors or trespassers. Okay. No solicitors. No solicitors or No solicitors or trespassers over here. Solicitors. Will be old solicitors will be sold to pimps. Pimps. Okay, here we go. Pimps. I'm going to go for a classic one on this one. Survivors will be prostituted. Trespassers will be a prostitute. Prostituted. Okay, there we go.
prostitutes. Yeah, I'm going to get in trouble for this one, but screw it. It's funny. Those bastards will be eh, prostituted. <laughs> Solicitors will be sold to pimps. Trespassers will be a eh, prostituted. <laughs> I have no shame. Solic no solicitors. Solicitors will be uh, will be sold to pimps or trespassers. Trespassers will be prostituted. <laughs> oh man, my mind. It's so, it's both scary, but at the same time, satisfying. So what I'm now going to do... Let's see here. We have no charcoal. So what I need to do is make some charcoal. About a hundred. Nope. What I need is about oh, 200. As we're about to make a minefield. Holy shit, they're planted landmines. Wait a minute. There's landmines out there? We walk our dogs out there. Because <laughs> we're going to put a landmine at the front door. As the couple of the major paths where the enemies come across. Now they're going to have to deal with landmines. We're going to blow them up with landmines, okay? Like, let's see how much we got for our landmines, at least. And, like, gunpowder. We have no gunpowder. Luckily, we're about to make some. Like, we need gunpowder to make landmines. Landmines? 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 All right. Nobody move. We wait for Zorin and... <sighs> Holy shit. Bouncing berries. Boom! Probably a war card to put bouncing bays in this game. Would be funny though. Like enemy walks up, realize, oh shit, they got bouncing bays. <laughs> Why did I do that? I guess I can put all the auxiliary equipment up. Stairs, at least. But first, I'm gonna do some repairs. Alright. 
Gonna put these in the bedroom. I'm in the closets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And here we're gonna put the uh, accessories. Boop, 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 boop. Put the keys in there too. And here we're gonna put added equipment. Turn in there. Okay, we are good. We are good for now. And let's see here, I put the wheat, the veggie stuff there. Eating the veggies. I put the fruits in there. I'm really going on that charcoal, buddy. Good boy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, wait a minute. I should be able to make that more powerful crossbow now. Or the hairband. Crossbow schematic. I should have everything I need now, right? Ooh, just about. We need more stone. We need some ignigants. And we need ancient civilization parts. While you're doing that, I'm going to go dig up some skulls. With my pickaxe. And we're going to get that more powerful crossbow. Might as well get a few scones for, like, freaking, like, everything else we need. Because we're going to have to make a whole time load of arrows. Every time we swing that pickaxe down, another stone pops up. Let's go. You're gonna wait until we get a hundred stones.
Wow, they're caught up on something. Oh, that was a buzzkill. Can't you see me? Monk, Evie Monk. I like my musket, it's got a lot more power behind it. Sure, it's slower than the reload, but. It still gets the job done. Alright, let's go in here. We need ancient civilization parts anyways. Nobody suspects the unsuspected penny shot. Oh, yes, I just snorted. I am the spy of Team Fortress 2. I am Prince, really? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, some French lead to art or wannabe is going to cancel me on Twitter slash X for that joke.
Well, that sounded a little bit premature. Kind of like how most kids' moms shoot out the baby a little bit premature and they get brain damage. Yeah, he's like, okay, okay, shoot out the baby, honey, shoot out, I got this, I got this. He's got the baby baseball glove on. He's like, I got this, sweetie, I got this, I got this. He goes, <laughs> and he goes, ah. baby hits the wall, and he goes, I don't got this, and the wife laughs. <laughs> Honestly, I really need to filter sometimes. So this weekend I had a guest over. Why not much got done? That same guest is gonna be over during the week. From a Tuesday, I think, until like Thursday. So um That's gonna be a thing. Gonna have to contact him later though. I'm gonna have to tell him like some of the stuff he's gonna give me is gonna have to go towards my electric bill. Honestly, kinda good to know that you got a friend who got your back the way he does. Still trying to find a job though in this town is a pain in the rear end. I'm saying, are we under attack? With me here, controller. So we're almost back to the level we once were, and that's good, for many of reasons. Let's get some gunpowder done. Catman, let's do a Catman do. Let's do it to it, Catman. Radio citizen. Catman away. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. At the end of this week, though, on Saturday, we're going to be watching the first ever movie night. That which will be on kick.tv slash Commander Devin Lionheart. Emphasis on the uh, obviously uh, commander name being shortened. As we're going to watch, obviously, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, or the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie that had Jim Carrey. Now, I have not seen this movie. I am not seeing this movie. I don't want any spoilers. So that's going to be fun. As I'm going to be watching it for the first time on live stream. I hope all of y'all will join me there.
As, yeah, it's actually going to be a lot of fun. Hold on, let me check up on the stream. Yep, the usual are here. Good, good, good. Holy crud, a lot of... Yeah. And of course, Squint and Ann sit back and... Hold on. Streaming. Uh, some people, it's like they have a difficult time reading long sentences. Oh well. And it's my, it's, it's the texting, um, text to speech that really can't understand Texan lingo, let alone American English. I don't correct this a pain in my ass. <laughs> Wrong way. I really gotta move that torch. You know what, screw it. Look at the torches. We're gonna put wall torches instead. A lot more efficient that way.
That ought to be enough light. this new rare crossbow. As where we're going to go next, the next boss, man, her eyes got a lot of arrows. And this thing is going to be a, a uh, plus one for that advantage. That's going to be fun. And everything's lagging again. Oh, my PC be lagging hard. CPU's at 4. Luckily for me, though... I finally got some flash, uh, not flash cards, but um, memory drives. Little devices that have 36 gigs of memory, two of them in one package, where I'll finally be able to add my VTuber models on there for obviously safekeeping. Just in case whatever happens to my computer again happens again. Where I can finally keep it nice and my models nice and safe and saved for the near future. As I really do find it annoying that my uh, shit got hacked. People be whack these days, bro. Oh, is everyone like, people be whack. Like, oh, we don't like it? We're going to hack your shit. <laughs> like, what the hell? Myself, I was thoroughly upset when I found out Ashi ended up hacking, uh, you know, Devin Foxy's computer. It pissed me off. And she's, uh, realized that I'm mad about that. Like, I, I am mad. I, I am angry. I was not happy that she did that. When she did that shit, I reprimanded her. Like I told her not to do it again. Otherwise, you're gonna lose, obviously, ever being a VTuber with me again. Because the woman behind her, she was Pissed this guy was doing this to me. She was so fucking mad. I mean, there is no anger greater than a woman's scorn. And this guy ended up taking her off to a point where she just had enough and she was going to take, a, you know, punishment into her own hands. That which I was not okay with. You know, for this guy to force one of my new... Like, employees, let alone, like, uh, more like business associates, to do that really shows how disgusting an individual oh, Mr. Foxy is in his community. They overstepped their bounds and did that. They forced Ashi to do something that ticked me off, that forced me to do something to punish the woman behind Ashi. So, Ashi won't be on the stream for about a month. 
as the person behind Ashi has been reprimanded and punished. She will not be live streaming this month, and Geo's going through a bit of a crisis right now. As his grandparents are in a heap of trouble. So he's happened to take care of family matters. While his parents are away. As his parents got into some legal bout issues with debt collection. Don't get me started on debt collectors. If it was up to me, I burned them all. At the steak. With fries and chili sauce. With fries and steaks. The flesh being the meat, of course. Oh, wait a minute. What was I doing? Alright, I was about to teleport away. I guess I can make a couple more gigaspheres if I can. Nope, not enough ignigates. I can only make one. Don't really need them for the region we're going to. So, next up, this region where we're literally going to try to capture another ancient beast and find the next boss. Wherever your tower's at. Wait a minute. I left armor at the base. Oh well. Time to try out the new crossbow. Yo, Claw, you're putting a stick in my craw. How dumb are these idiots?
I have a shotgun. What do you have? No brains. Another one of you, okay. Drop down, Tron, and I can get rid of you, dummy. Take your fight, your butt couldn't cash, huh? Let it be known, these Power World Alliance guys ain't that smart. Well, that was unfortunate.
This pound. Out here, my jammies. Take off the bloody ring. Quit shocking me. Okay, so here's what we do. We wait for our hip to heal. Then we pick a fight. So it's psychic. Not again.
No, I do not know when to quit chat. Okay, I gotta rethink things here. We go with you. You. Where? Okay, there's my rifle. Got my axe. Get the ring of mercy out of there. Wait for that guy to go to sleep, goddamn. Does that thing not ever sleep? Don't like the cold, huh? Wow, that was a glitch and a half. Mine! Oh, yeah. 
still got a lot of way into the next level, but you know what? Screw it. The Dorgan is mine. The fairy Dorgan of the forest is mine. Look at this. Target practice. Dummy. Never sleep on the job. I wish I was Batman sometimes. Yeah, let's see here. Not gotta go back. If I remember straight, her area is in the ice area. Just beyond these points. Room ashore. Yep. There. Uh. Three tech points. Oh, point. Yeah, you guys keep fighting amongst yourselves. I'll loot and pillage and move on.
You picked the foot on the wrong fight there, hombre. I told you that straight up. go Well, you supersonic spin dashed out of there. Board. I need. I think it's the Gale Claw. The Gale Claw is a shiny? Yeah, it's the shiny.
Not again. No, 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 no. Chat, y'all saw that, right? And that motherfucker dead the rights. At least they got the shiny gal claw. Oh well. Let's go back from whence we came. That's where we got to go. All right, so I'm going to go with... I'm gonna shock you too, bitch. I can say who has the balls. The amount of shinies I've run into this game, you gotta wonder if there's some kind of luck factor for me for it. Whoa, where do you come from, fella? Dumbasses. Okay, there she there is her domain.
Okay, so we don't want to rush this because we'll run out of energy swimming that fast. We're not ready to take her on yet. We need more ammo. I mean, we could take on Fate, but Fate would take us down. At this point in time. So, I'd rather play it smart. And take our spoils with these pure quartz as that's a nice side prize right there. As we're going to press on forward a bit. Thirty-eight, forty. Jeez. Yeah, we're right in the midst of it. Right in the midst of their base. If I remember straight, she's somewhere up there. I'm gonna grab that large egg. Teleport point. We're gonna grab that cat. Let's just grab its eggs and let's see here. What was her base again?
stick to the rooftops because the Palmon here are dangerous and powerful. Yeah, the last thing we we'll want to do is take off our pets. That's the emerging. Hold on, everyone. I got a phone call coming in.
Okay, sorry about muting myself, everyone. It's just like, got a phone call. I had to deal with that. Like, Humana calls at the worst times. Like, every time when I'm streaming, I get phone calls, and it's really annoying. Like, it's so annoying. Where the hell am I? Okay, I'm not too far away from a save point. From teleport point, so... Yep. All right, so, and again with the, hold on, everyone, god dang it, again with this, hold on. Jesus! Two people from the same organization calling me. Why? Every time. Just watch, there's going to be a third person that tries to call from Melina. Give it any second now, and a third person's gonna try calling from Melina. And I'm gonna be thoroughly ticked. I know they're just doing their job, but when they constantly help bug me like this, it really does bug me. Every time with this bull cry. Am I just a radio signal for past chat? While I'm streaming, of all things? And it's raining again. It's been raining a lot lately in Texas. Supposed to be doing this in April of all things. Let's get some more rifle ammo. Time to go shopping.
Well, we made some decent exploration today. Not gonna lie, that's surprising. Just gonna put the rest of eggs in here. We're going to cook a few items. And I know I said we're going to play Dueling Nexus. But I decided against it because... Reasons. So we're going to cook this gel claw. And we're going to cook uh, the other food. And then I'm going to cook me some real world food. And call it a night. As tonight has been a today has been a day as I went up by uh, paying bills all day. Uh living life, of course. To the fullest I can. Even that so of uh, quite weird why I keep getting phone calls. During my live streaming is like the world's trying to sabotage me from streaming. And it's really pissing me off. Alright, there we go. We got bullets. So next time on live stream, we are going to try yet again. The tag on the big bad next boss as we'll do our best. Look at all these Palmon. So uh, thank y'all for joining me here today. Wait a minute, we cannot say. Wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so what I need to do here, I saw what happened. We're gonna go to copy. We're gonna go to documents. We're gonna go to paste. Okay, there we go. Just in case the save file gets corrupt, this ain't gonna happen again. No, 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 sir. Uh-uh, I'm wise to your games now, Power World.